Sometimes with percent problems, we want to work backwards so that we can find what the original price was or what the base amount was of something. So in this problem here, we have John who paid $800 for a table. Now that price includes the 8% sales tax. That's an important thing to consider. That price, which was the original, um, and then you add it on the 8% sales tax. So that $800 can be broken down in the following way. If we take that $800, which is what he spent, that amount includes two things. It includes the original price, and it also includes a tax. We're adding those together, and we get 800. Now, we know the original price is always 100% of itself. And the tax in this case is 8%. So if we were to reword this question, we could actually reword it in the following way. We could say $800 is 108% of the original price. And I got 108% from adding together the percent of the original and the tax. So if I use a proportion to solve this, my price that I paid is 800. And what I'm solving for is what the original was. My percent is 108, and I'm always comparing that to 100. When I cross multiply, I get 108x equals 80,000. And then to solve for x, I, of course, divide both sides by 108. And what I get is a repeating decimal. I get 740.740, and that repeats. Now I have to consider what the question wants me to find. I want to find the original price to the nearest dollar. That means I'm going to round this spot here, and I'm considering the spot to the right. So if I were to approximate that, to the nearest dollar, the chair, or sorry, the table was $741. To check my answer, I should see if I add that 8% on, will I get $800? So let's see. We'll do the check over here to the side. If I take that $741 and I add on that 8%, so I can multiply this by 1.08. That'll give me the new price. And when you multiply those two numbers, you get $800.28. But again, consider that we rounded to the nearest dollar before. So you're going to round to the nearest dollar again. And that's approximately 800 when you round that to the nearest dollar. So I know I did it correctly.